Hey there, guys. It's Monday. This is Andy here with the buddies that never die, Daniel and Austin. Yo, hey, what's up? Austin, are you there? <laughs> he left I'm waiting the again. I'm waiting for him. <laughs> we set up these meeting rooms for Austin to join, and he tries to go join other meeting rooms. It's very hurtful. Yeah, he does. We count down, Let's and he comes back. back. I think he's playing a game. There he is. See, look. Here he is. <laughs> He's joining, hey, buddy. he's joining the room. What a wonderful guy. Um, so there's been a lot of uh, volcano activity in the news lately. And a lot of things that accompany, one of the things that accompany volcanoes uh, are earthquakes. And I don't know about you, if any of you guys have been through an earthquake before, but uh, one of the ones I, a mild one in the Northwest that I went through, um, I was jumping in a house doing some kind of goofy, like a dance or Doing, like, living my life out, which was, like, let's entertain everybody. Living your best life. Living my best <laughs> life. Jumping up and down in a house when the house, when the earthquake happened. And I thought <laughs> I had caused whatever was going on in the house. Like, the foundation <laughs> to begin collapsing and the windows to be rattling. Um, my brain was so, so flipped out for about 10 to 15 seconds till someone shouted, Earthquake, get under the table, earthquake. Have have you guys have you guys ever been in a situation where you like first of all have you been through earthquakes I think you guys both have but did you ever think you caused them or did you... <laughs> well love, first of all I've been that. I've been through earthquakes uh, the one of the two earthquakes I remember and my two favorite things about earthquakes the one I can remember I was in um, a hospital weirdly. And I was with somebody. I was on like the fifth floor, and the hospital started shaking, and that was like terrifying because oh. I was up like five or six stories. But it's interesting. Anytime in an in, in an earthquake, you can see like how old people are and like what year they got their safety information. Cause you see the earthquake starts and everyone runs for different things. Some people run for under the table. Some people run for the doorway. How many people run for the right. doorway? You went to school in the nineties. Cause that's yep. what they told us to do in the nineties, mm -hmm. run for the doorway. Yep. So you got like 55 adults trying to pack into this little doorway. Uh, by the way, mm -hmm. the appropriate safety measure is now to be next to the but corner, not right? under an interior wall. Yeah, oh. next yeah. to but or, not excuse under. me, an exterior. Because it'll like yeah. they'll like TP over you, but it won't. It'll oh. TP. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or if you can't yeah. find a uh, a wall to get right next to, you want to you want to be um, next to a heavy object like a piano, not under it though, because it could collapse. Okay. So next to it. <laughs> yep, that's where you want to go. You want to be crouched so, adjacent to it. <laughs> yes, and you want to stay away from the facades of buildings. So don't run next to a building because, like the the you know gutter can fall off and kill you or whatever it is. Ooh. So anyway, but but like as soon as an earthquake mm -hmm. starts, you can see like what year someone went to school. <laughs> that's like, a good point. Oh, for the doorway, yeah. for the table, for the you know whatever. So that's that's my favorite part <laughs> about an earthquake. Yeah. Well, my new favorite thing about earthquakes is when Andy Irwin asked me if I ever thought I caused an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which it's clearly a, no. No, but I kind of know what you're talking about because my second best story about earthquakes is I remember kind of similarly like uh, I was in fourth grade, super memorable, and it was like, I don't even know what year that was necessarily, but it was like a notoriously really bad earthquake. And I was running. And I remember when I was running, Andy, like mm -hmm. it felt like it felt weird because I was running and I was looking at a tree line like a hundred yards off and it looked like the trees were doing like an accordion move. And I was like... <laughs> I think I'm like about to pass out. Like that was my thought. Yeah, was like, I was see. like, wow, while I'm running, I'm kind of like, and we can see him on the video. I'm kind of like warp. I'm jelloing around when I run. <laughs> and that was because the ground was uh, vibrating so bad that, yeah, it was just literally doing that kind of like wave thing. And I thought, yeah, yeah I thought my body was, you know, turning into mulch or something. I had no clue. That's, that's the jerk part about earthquakes is not only how destructive they are, but they cause the human mind and vision to make you feel like you're going insane, especially if you can't identify what's going on. I, Daniel, you say, so if the big tip is get next to an exterior wall, if I'm in the middle of Costco getting a sample of sliced sausage and an earthquake happens, I'm going to drop the sausage, put both my hands out and look up and say, take me God, because there's no <laughs> chance that I'm getting to an exterior wall through all those falling shelves. <laughs> There's Just no get way. To a heavy object then, heavy object. 
So, um, yeah, that's that's <laughs> you're you're doomed. I I don't know, but I think really clearly in emergency. Like I think my best in the middle of emergency. I feel like you would practically like kill yourself in, in a minute. Like you would you would run into the danger. You would not run away from it. You would just you would be so scatterbrained during an emergency that that you yeah, would do which, all the wrong things. Which supports your theory of how many guardian angels I've gone through since I've been born. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, how many guardian angels have been crushed by uh, <laughs> things falling exactly. in earthquakes keeping yeah. you alive? Jeez. Yeah. Well, this uh, Christmas season, here's a, a safety tip since we're talking about emergencies and safety tips. Uh, in the midst of an earthquake, get near an exterior wall or an interior wall will work too. Uh, and then uh, f- make sure you keep your Christmas tree watered if you have a yes. Christmas tree. No house fires mm-hmm. this Christmas season. That's right. So right. there you go. And if they fall on you during an earthquake, you want it to be nice and moist instead of prickly and dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good tip. Well, uh, make sure you check out the show. The full length show comes out on Thursdays. Go to iTunes and search Buddies Never Die podcast. You can also uh, check us out on our Facebook page uh, where you found these dailies. We'll go ahead and push the show out to you. But uh, check it out, like it, subscribe it, and uh, we'll see you next week.